Hello friends, welcome back. We have started the learning of team functioning as a part of team management from last video. As a part of it, we had seen two important topics. The first one was the team communication and the second one was the team motivation. From this video, we are going to understand the third topic which is time management. So let's begin. We are going to follow the same methodology for learning of this time management. That means we first going to understand what is the need for it and then what are the different parts of it. So what is the need for the time management? Time is the most critical resource for any team. It must be managed carefully and effectively for timely favorable results. If you are not able to manage the time well, then we are not able to achieve the desirable results from our project. Now, if you are going to discuss about the time management, it consists of the four important parts. The first part for the time management is to form an agenda committee. Now, what is the role for this agenda committee? To generate the meeting agenda in advance, make sure the availability of the resources as per the agenda. For smaller teams, the agenda can be prepared by the team leader or facilitator. So this is basically the planning activity that we are going to initiate with the help of agenda committee. The second part of the time management is to use the Gantt chart. Now, when we use the Gantt chart, we are aware about what are the different milestones, what are the dates and what is our total progress. Once we know where we are, the third part of the time management is to publish the meeting agendas with time limits on each item. As a part of it, we can assign a timekeeper and stick to the schedule. We can keep a 5 to 10 minutes of buffer at the end of the each sessions for the discussions. And the last part for the time management is to publish the reminders of members action assignments. Many times it is needed to review progress on these action assignments during the meetings. So it is very important that everyone should be aware about what is the status of their individual assignments. After understanding this third topic of the team functioning, the fourth topic of the team functioning is the team decision making tools. Now what is the need for it? These team decision making tools helping team members to take the decisions in different situations. We are basically using five types of tools. The first one is brainstorming. Second one is nominal group technique. It is also called as NGT. The third one is multi-voting. The fourth one is force field analysis. And the last one is six thinking hats. We had already seen the detailed video on six thinking hats and it's time to learn all these four important tools now. The first tool is brainstorming. As the name indicates, all team members are encouraged to express their views as a part of this exercise. Each view is respected and should not be debated during this exercise. All the ideas are noted and listed. This method can be held in a silent mode as participants note their ideas on a piece of paper and after that they can collect them. There is also an interesting technique as a part of brainstorming exercise which is available. This is called as talking stick. The talking stick also called as a speaker staff is an instrument used by many tribes especially those of indigenous peoples of the northeast coast in North America. Now, if you come back to the simplest definition of this talking stick, the talking stick may be passed around a group as multiple people speak in turn or used only by the leaders as a symbol of their authority and right to speak in public. This is one of the example of application of the talking stick by Senator Susan Collins during the negotiations technique. The second team decision making tool is a nominal group technique. In short, it is also called as NGT. This is a technique which is used to prioritize a list of items. The typical case is when we are having the number of items and we need to prioritize some of them only. As a part of this exercise, each team member writes on a slip of paper the letters designating the list of items and ranking for each of the items. You can use a higher number for higher ranking. This nominal group technique exercise is carried out in six steps. The first step of this is write down ideas individually. In second step, we can record all these ideas on the flip chart. In third step, leaders ask comments to clarify the meaning of each of these ideas. In fourth step, vote on the important ideas which is given by the individual team members. In fifth step, we rank the ideas. For example, if 5 were selected, 5 should be assigned to the most important idea, 4 to the second most important, 
and so forth. So if the idea is not important, we are giving the score as a 1. In last step, we record the votes and calculate what is the final score. The ideas which is having the highest final score will be prioritized for execution or discussion. The third team decision making tool is a multi-voting. This is a variation of NJT in which each team member has 100 points to allocate to items on the list, assigning the largest number of points to the highest ranking item. In this exercise, the team member should not allocate more than 50% of the score on one item. This multi-voting exercise is ideal for making decisions in the situations where a list of options must be narrowed down to one or two options. This is similar to the NGT, only the difference is allocation method of the scores. The fourth team decision making tool is a force field analysis. This tool can be used by the teams in managing a change or taking a decision. Forces that suppose the change and forces which oppose the change are listed here and that's why it is called as force field analysis. For successful change management, supporting forces must be leveraged and effort should be made to minimize the impact of opposing forces. Team can also give weightage to each of the force to quantify them. For example, there is a plan to upgrade company-wide information gathering process from manual to automated. In this case, we can identify what are the supporting forces and what are the opposing forces. Supporting forces are called as a for. For example, information available more quickly, this is a favorable. Accuracy and consistency of information. Free up people's time to do more interesting tasks. And what are the against or opposing forces here? Cost of technology. Start dislike automated processes. Disruption during change and complicated to implement. We need to give the weightage score for each of these forces. For example, information available more quickly, we can give as a score of 5 and cost of technology, we can give as a score of 4. We need to sum up all the scores for the supporting forces, which is coming as 13. And we also need to sum up the scores for the opposing forces, which is 12. In this example, the supporting forces are having the more score compared to that of the opposing force. So this is indicating that this is a favorable change. And the last team decision making tool is a six thinking hat. We had already seen these six thinking hats in detail. Let's have a short introduction of it again. This is a quick, simple and powerful technique to improve your thinking. It does this by encouraging you to recognize what type of thinking you are using and to apply different types of thinking to the subject. This is used in team meetings and discussions to improve the effectiveness, avoid typical team dynamic problems and minimize unproductive time. This was a technique which was introduced by Edward D. Bono. As the name indicates, it consists of the six thinking hats and we need to use this, each of these hats during the team discussions. For example, when the team members are carried out the white hat discussions, they should be look for facts and figures. During the black hat discussion, they should look at the way how the one thing can fail. During the blue hat discussion, they should look for higher and wider perspective. During the red hat discussion, they should listen the emotions and intuitions of the people. During yellow hat discussion, the people must be optimistic and hopeful. And during the green hat discussion, the people must be creative to identify the solution of the problem. These are the five important team decision making tools that can be used by the team to take the decisions in difficult situations. With the learning of these tools, we had also completed the topic for team functioning. If you have found this information useful, then please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you want to learn Lean Six Sigma and Minitab most effectively and practically, then please visit at vijasabe.co slash join. One important announcement, to help you in an effective way, I have created different levels of memberships at my YouTube channel. If you want to learn more about it, just click on the join button at my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.